Welcome, welcome everybody. So today I'm going to do a reading for Lori Valley Daybell. I want to see, you know, what her plans are for an upcoming trial, the upcoming trial, and then I want to see, you know, I want to do Chad's, see what Chad's plans are as well. But I also have one other question, and um, this relates to Melanie Gibb, and this is because of the phone call that Lori Vallow and Melanie Gibb had. In that phone call, Lori was telling her, you're guilty too. She knew she was being recorded because of how Melanie was acting, because Melanie was acting stupid to information in the way that she was, you know, talking to her and stuff. She knew that she was being recorded, and she said, "You will be, um, you will have to face the consequences for the information you do have." So I think that Melanie definitely knew a lot more. I think she turned on Lori. Um, I really do, in my opinion. This is all my opinion. This is not everybody's innocent until proven guilty. But that's what we're going to look into today. So let's get started, guys. Spirit guides, guardian angels, please join me. Give me information with the tarot. Um, can you please show, give me three cards that represent what Lori Valley Davis plans for her for her upcoming trial? What are Lori Valley's plans? Oh, too many cards. What are Lori Valley's plans? Valley Davis plans for her upcoming trial. What are Valley's plans for her upcoming trial? What is she planning? It's so the star in reverse, four of cups in reverse, and we have the nine of cups. Interesting. Okay. Spirit, can you please show me with the tarot? What are Chad Davis plans for his trial? What are Chad Davis plans for his upcoming trial? Chad Davis plans. So we have the world in reverse, um, the six of cups in reverse, and the nine of pentacles. Interesting, they both have nines coming out. Okay, and my last question. <clears throat> Sarah, can you please show me with the stairs? Um, did Melanie Gibb have anything to do with the deaths of Tyler Ryan and J.J. Valley? Did Melanie Gibb have anything to do Too many cards. Did Melanie Gibb have anything to do with the death of Tyler Ryan? That's so Alright, one more shuffle. Oh, you guys can do it. Did Melanie Gibb have anything to do? Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Cups. <laughs> Very interesting. And on the bottom, we have the Three of Cups, I mean, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And that is the overall energy for that question. And it's funny to me. So let me take a moment to take this in. And All right, so for Lori, what her plans you know, her plans, we're going to start with the top three, of course. Um, the star reverse, it's um, feelings of hopelessness, um, being in dif a difficult situation, um, have like basically ma made you feel drained and questioning your faith in the universe's plan for you. Um, the need to take responsibility for yourself and your life. 
it indicates um, losing confidence in yourself and your abilities as well as like feelings of anxiousness and feeling overwhelmed it can also indicate that now is the time for you to heal from the past you know to draw a line under it and move forward and it could also represent seeking help to do just that you know um, and then we have the four of cups reversed and that's um, it's a card that in the reverse represents like pulling yourself out of a rut um, being ready to let go of remorse and regrets as well as any past issues that you have had um, it indicates seizing opportunities with enthusiasm and focus it also can indicate realizing you have been detached from the world and caught up in self-absorption um, and you have now started to replace that with self-awareness and you are done fantasizing about life you know what, what, what life could be and wallowing in your own self-pity it also shows taking responsibility for yourself and your actions um, and then the nine of cups here this indicates wishes coming true or your dreams will turn into a reality um, it indicates bad times are behind you um, and this is a time you know really happy a time of joyfulness happiness fulfillment um, it indicates triumph success and victory um, it, sh it, it also shows that your efforts will not go unnoticed um, it indicates recognition acclaim and even fame um, it's a call for parties and celebrations so what I see here and what I get is that, you know, she's, you know, obviously the star reverse, she's questioning, you know, um, the universe. I feel like she was, um, uh, detached is one word, but I'm trying to think of what the word I'm trying to, <laughs> the word I'm thinking of or the, you know, what I'm trying to say. Um, I do feel like drugs were um, a part in all of this. I really do. But I feel like the group, the religion, the um, cult aspect, and people might not believe that that is true, but it is definitely what was going on. And she was wrapped up in that. You know, and you do become very disillusioned in like, it's like a... A fantasy world that you have or fantasy you have but when I see the wish fulfillment I don't think that that means that she's gonna get off Scott free or anything what I see here is she's gonna let she's gonna give enough get a deal take a deal take take a plea deal um, and tell everything tell everything the way it happened I don't I don't think that she's going to fight it. I really think that she's going to take a deal and, and tell what happened, the truth about everything. I really, really do. That's really what I'm picking up here. And now for Chad's plans, we have the world in reverse here. This shows um, not accomplishing what you set out to do, um, things becoming very stuck and stagnant. Um, it shows that, you know, you've tried to take shortcuts instead of, like, putting in hard work <clears throat> to achieve your dreams. Um, it also shows feeling stuck in a situation, feeling burdened by your circumstances. Um, and can show that, you know, basically you need to cut your losses and accept disappointment. So this is what he's needing to do. It's like... It's almost like, okay, we'll, we'll go on. Then we have the Six of Cups in reverse. The Six of Cups in reverse is letting go of the past and um, being ready to move on to the future. <clears throat> it indicates letting go of childhood issues or childish behavior that you've had. Um, it can also indicate uh, like childhood abuse or stolen innocence. Alternatively, it could indicate that you're stuck in the past. 
being stuck in the past or looking at past events with <clears throat> rose colored glasses. Um, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this indicates success, freedom, and independence, um, as well as security and stability. Um, it indicates hard work to create the success you have now. Um, and it also indicates um, that you've gained maturity and wisdom. Um, and it also usually represents, um, it's representing a strong independent woman who worked hard to get where she is. Kind of thing, as you can see here. But, so, um, I think that he's, he's not going to, I mean, he's, she's probably going to take the deal and testify against him is what I see. And that's going to leave him feeling the stuck feeling because he already feels that, you know. And he, um, and also they didn't get to whatever bullcrap into the world prophecy they had going on or what they needed to do. I don't know. But that didn't get accomplished. His prophecy didn't come true. And that's probably another reason why Lori, you know, he probably prophesied how this was going to end for him. Well, he was disconnected from that. Um, he's also, as we see here, the same, the cups here that are going up. That's, you know, he didn't take any deals as well. And they're all in front of her. They all land right in front of her. Because she does take what's offered to her. Something that gets offered to her and she does take it. Um, but he's unable <clears throat> to escape his, the past issues. He's not going to be able to get away from it. I believe that I believe that Chad is a very, very evil person. Um, you can tell a lot of, like when, when you see a narcissist or a sociopath, you can really tell that they are um, just by if you listen to, like for him, he has books. So listening to his books and the way he says things, and like Julie Rowe, like she says that she has these wonderful gifts and like she's the only one on the planet that has all the gifts that she has. You can just tell being braggy and stuff. But he's, she's going to be independent and she is an independent woman. This represents literally everything that has come. This is going to be the culmination or the last stand. The last hurdle. Um, she's going to give all the information. She's going to materialize her success. Which she'll probably get. I mean, she's going to get time. I mean, I'm just saying. She's not going to get away from the scot free, so I don't think that anybody should be worried about that. But I think that he is going to get the worst. The worst part. Now, with Melanie, if she was involved, so we see this Ten of Cups here, I mean the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. And this is the culmination of the suit of Pentacles or the culmination of from the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. That's the culmination of the events in between, right? Um, this is in reverse. And you see that there are, I just want you to look at this picture. So you see the big Pentacle here, the hole, it looks like a fire to me. I don't know why y'all. A big old pinnacle up in the sky. There's kids playing. There's a man, a dog, you know. <clears throat> and a woman holding a pinnacle. Kids playing. This is like a little celebration, a little party. This is like the good life, you know. Happily ever after, um, financial success, all that. But it's also a family card. And in the reverse, it indicates like rocky foundations, insecurity, and instability in your life. So, um, and then we see that there, you know, in the reverse, this picture in the reverse, it indicates this honesty associated with um, material. Um, with material things um, in your material life, being dishonest to your family, all that. Um, it indicates illegal or shady activities. It also shows family feuds, family burdens. 
Um, it could show neglecting the family as well as domestic disputes. Um, it could also indicate um, disputes over wills and inheritances. Not feeling connected to your family. Um, it could also show disharmony or dreading a family event, celebration, or gathering. It indicates being unconventional and breaking with tradition. Um, it can show the possibility of sudden and unexpected losses, as well as feeling as if you've lost everything. <clears throat> now let's go to the Queen of Pentacles here. So the Queen of Pentacles, it shows like high, so high social status, you know, um, prosperity, wealth, luxury, you know, and financial independence. This, this queen, um, she represents um, goals, setting goals and focusing on achieving them. Um, she also tells you to set goal, you know, to set goals and focus on achieving them yourself. She represents a mature female who is generous and wealthy, who has an affinity for finer things in life. This uh, queen is good in business, and this queen is also a very generous host. She makes people feel welcome in her home, as well as feeling secure and able to confide in her. And then the last card is the Three of Cups, and this card, it indicates a reunion or a celebration. Um, it could show that someone from the past is coming back into your life. And it could also signify like parties, festivals, weddings, engagement parties, baby showers, and any other similar celebrations. Looking forward to a happy event in your life. It indicates a group of people coming together with open hearts and minds to celebrate important events. So when we see this, I'm going to say with <clears throat> pretty certain with much certainty and only in my opinion and the energy that I'm picking up on um, I get a big guess I get that she was there during it she was at her home I 110% feel that way in the video I mean, in the phone call the things that Lori says she says, I'm not afraid of it. I'm not afraid of what I am. You are guilty of the knowledge you do have. You have to be held accountable for the knowledge you do have, Mel. Because she was there. And she knew exactly why it had to happen. You know? And that's, I think that, <clears throat> I think that if you were in Melanie Gibbs' position, we can, myself at least, can say that if my friend lied to the cops and told them that I had um, their child and it put me in a position where I could be the one that got in trouble um, and I felt like I had been betrayed and that I was thrown under the bus, basically, because you... But here's the thing. I would only feel thrown under the bus had I been there and participated in the events that happened and then my friend did that to me and told them that I had the children. That is what would make me feel like I was thrown under the bus. Now, had that not happened, had she just said that and... I wasn't any involvement in the project or in the event or had any knowledge of what happened and didn't know. I wouldn't feel like I was thrown under the bus because I didn't have any connection to it, right? I would feel like, well, she just lied, you know? Why did she lie like that? Because the child would be alive. In her story to the cops, the child was alive. She didn't say, she murdered my children. She said that they're staying with her. Well, all you have to do is say, no, um, they're not staying with me. They haven't been with me. I don't know what she's talking about. Right? You only feel thrown under the bus 
if he were involved. And that is the truth of the matter. You only feel jaded if you know what already happened. You think that they're alive at this time. Why do you feel betrayed? Anyway, the last card is the Three of Cups, which is, you know, like I said, a super, you know, uh, reunions and celebrations and parties. I think that there is a ritual and that she's a part and was a part of whatever happened. I think that they were like triple lovers. <laughs> um, <clears throat> because, you know, even Ryan Julie Rowe said that Melanie Gibb was one of his former wives. Like, I don't know why all these men, I mean, all these men, all these women marry child in a past life or even bought it hook, line, and sinker. It don't make sense. It don't. It really don't. That's like the oldest line in the book, I feel. Or some version of it. <clears throat> I think we've known each other in past lives. We had sex. We had sex in a past life already, so, you know, it's cool to still do it now. Okay. <clears throat> and, like, he's not even smooth. And the way he talks, it sounds like he ain't got no education. He ain't got no learning. He just been, you know, milking cows and dicking graves his whole life. <sighs> I don't know, y'all. I'm just saying, Melanie Gibbs, I hope that when Lori tells all that, she pays for what she did, too. Because I, 110%, in my opinion, everybody is innocent until proven guilty, think that she is guilty. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and if you would like a private reading or a personal reading, um, information about that is in the description, and if you have any ideas of future readings, please let me know. Thank you guys so much. I love you all so much, and I hope you all stay blessed.